Hey guys, we're here at the We Stand America Conference. I'm with Sam Sorbo, a friend and a wonderful education freedom activist. She is an author, an actress, a celebrity. I'm sure you have seen some of her movies and her husband's movies. Uh, Sam, thanks for being with us. And I want to talk to you about, first of all, education. Uh, explain to us why parents are so unqualified to teach their own children. Well, I mean, if you believe Harvard, they really shouldn't be. And why, why wouldn't the cabal want to keep the kids and keep the money that the kids bring in, right? So, of course, they're trying to convince parents that they're incapable. But here's the rub. If you went to school and say you graduated, I don't know, high school, and you think that you're incapable of educating a third grader, there's something wrong with the system because you're clearly not educated. The proof of the education, the culmination of an education is the ability to teach it. So if you're, if you're admitting that you can't teach anything that you know, then you haven't been educated. So why would you put your child into a system that clearly doesn't educate? And, and we were on prayer call the other night and you said this is one of the most important issues. You also got a, a TV show on uh, Epic TV dealing with education. It's called Schools Out, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you, why have you made this such a, a big focus, Sam? There's all these other issues you could have addressed. I mean, you've got a huge platform. Why did you focus in on education? Yeah, sometimes I wonder what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm passionate because I discovered the incredible relationship that you can have with your children when you keep them outside of the institution. And I, I figured out early on that my children didn't belong in an institution, but I could not have known the incredible blessing that it is to be a parent and how much I would learn from my children if I hadn't walked through it. And so now my mission is to empower parents so that they can also have that amazing epiphany and, and that amazing relationship with their children. I, I, I try to cast a vision for parents my three teenagers at different times, but over the course of several years at various times, each one of them would come into my bedroom when I was in there alone at night. I would be sitting working on my computer or whatever, and Kevin was out of town. And each one of them just would come in just to chat, just to talk with me, just to, down, to, to download their day. And I'm not saying that it was like, you know, incredibly intellectually stimulating anything like I could have said to them oh honey I'm, I'm working right now can we can we talk about this tomorrow and of course tomorrow never comes right but I didn't because it didn't matter what I was working on it was not as important as my relationship with my children and that's really the destruction that the school provides and by the way, I don't go after teachers. I love teachers. I think they're trying to do the best that they can in a, in a broken and perverted system. But the destruction of the family is, is it, I don't think we can overstate its importance. Uh, and I think that we are suffering today already because of the tremendous destruction that school has done to the family unit and to parenting, right? So we're living in a, in a culture that is almost unparented at this point because we went to public school or we went to school our parents went to school so they had a lack of parenting their parents went to school they had a lack of parenting and we've noticed that disciplines kind of gone out the window and we're relying on the teachers to discipline students but they're not allowed to discipline students it's literally it's like the degradation of our entire culture fostered by the school system so so, Sam, say there's somebody out there that, you know, they're concerned about what's going on at school. They've now heard about critical race theory. They might have even seen some things when the school was going on that through the Zoom. What do you say to those parents? They're kind of thinking about maybe homeschooling. They're thinking about maybe taking the plunge, but they don't feel qualified. Give them the, the elevator speech of why they should just take the plunge. Because of the damage that's happening to the children in schools today that they don't even see. So I had, a, I had a parent reach out a couple of days ago. And by the way, you can email me at samsorbo.com. Just go to the website and email. Um, and she emailed me and she said, Sam, my 10-year-old uh, is in, they're studying um, Second World War. And so part of her assignment is to dress up as Hitler. And it's for a big part of her grade. And we're wondering what you think we should do. I mean, I don't think she needs to dress up as Hitler. <laughs> you think? We're, we've, we are literally education today is the opposite of education. So in our schools, we are anti-educating. We are the opposite of educating. We're teaching people not to think, not to try, not to question. And 
So I think the worst thing you could do is send your child to school, just full stop. If you take your child out of school and do nothing for them and, and don't allow them on just any kind of electronics, obviously, um, but give them some good books to read, they will be better off than if they go to school. And um, to that end, I'm, I'm doing a webinar series now. I'm calling it Homeschooling 101, Principles of Education, because we've lost sight of what education is. We were taught that education is the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Well, that's a lie because that's not three R's, first and foremost, and everybody knows it and we laugh about it and we, and oh, but never mind. And then we continue. No, no, hold on. That's a lie. But it's more than just the lie of the joke because that's not education. You learn to read, you're not educated. You still have to do the reading to get the education. So we think that reading, writing, arithmetic somehow and presto, you're educated. And in fact, they're not even doing that. The governor of uh, Oregon just signed a law that you don't have to have, you don't have to be able to read or write to graduate high school. So clearly they're not interested in education. And so if you're interested, and my, my favorite one is parents say, you know, I maybe, but um, what about socialization? Yeah. And I'm like, that's not education. That's not. So that, so, so now you're changing the topic. But if you want to talk about socialization, yes, school would be the worst place for your child to learn social skills. Because what can a child learn from other children? I mean, that's insanity. Bad habits. Exactly. Smart mouth. Yeah, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. That's just dumb. But we've, we've been rendered incapable of thinking, of actually thinking these things through. And you'd be surprised the number of people that I talk to and I walk them down this road and at the end they go... Yeah, but I, I still think school is a good choice. Because what the schools have done is they've given us a specific view of something and it's ingrained now. And it is so difficult to shift out of that. It's, a, it's, a, it's an illusion that's very difficult to shift out of. And so I, I talk to parents and I say, what is your vision for your children? What's the vision that you have for this child? If your vision for them is the corner office with the view, then maybe school and Harvard. Like, maybe. I won't speak to that. But that's not happiness. That's not what that is. So think about what makes your child happy. And that's why I don't call it homeschooling anymore. I call it self-teaching. Because, let's face it, you won't learn anything that you don't want to learn. You can be coerced into learning it, memorizing it for a test, but you won't learn it unless you want to learn it. So the parent's job is to engage the child to the degree that the child goes to discover what they really want to learn, what they're really passionate about. And yes, you have to give the child the tools of learning, but that's easy. You teach the child to read. What's hard about that? And there's tons of books out there that can do that. And you teach the child basic math. Are you telling me you're completely incapable of basic math, the stuff that's in the workbooks? Like, it's just not rocket science. And then everything else you can outsource or the child will go and discover it themselves like my daughter did. That's how I, she taught me self-teaching. I didn't teach that to myself. She actually showed it to me. And then I went, oh, my gosh. So you're self-taught? Like, that's <laughs> how that works? So watch my show, Epic TV. It's called School's Out with Sam Sorbo. What's the best way to get that? I know it's on Roku. What are the best way you go to the Epic it's Times internet. website? It's internet. So oh. Epic Times website okay. and or epictv.com okay. and you'll find it there. Yeah, I think you might have to poke around a little bit, search around. It's a great show. And and how do I get how do we get your latest book, Sam? Is that your website samsorbo.com? Yeah, all my books are at my website. Um, the one that that home that people new to homeschooling might want is the one there your kids because that's my story. And so I was I had a lot of trepidation when I started to home educate. And I'd love to say that I started and then I never looked back, but that would be a lie. So I tell that story in the book because the schools have made us feel so incapable. Completely, they've disabled us. They have disabled, and they're disabling your children as we speak. So cut it out. Get your kids out of school. Amen. Figure out the rest later. Well, Sam Sorbo, we couldn't agree more with you. Thank you yeah. so much for being here, folks. This is Sam Sorbo. Go to our website, samsorbo.com. Watch that TV program and stay tuned. We'll be back with much more. Thanks.